Welcome back, everybody, to another video brought to you by your boy, Bishop Boas, and of course, the rest of the TWC family. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Ornata V2 mechanical keyboard. Razer sent us over a nice package with a couple different things, but here is item number two for you guys, so let's take a look. So, when we open the box, I removed the plastic covering prior, but... We get a nice <clears throat> card from Razer here. We get some stickers and an instructional manual. We'll put those to the side and get right to the keyboard. So this keyboard is very nice, guys. Very heavy duty. Take a look at that. Got a nice volume wheel here. Nice response on all the buttons. We got a number pad here. That's a fast forward, play, and rewind. But look at that, guys. Great keyboard. Very sturdy. Very responsive on all the buttons. Get that nice clicky sound to everything. Very nice. And of course, Razer always gives you the nice thick USB wire. And for people with cable management issues like me, you get a nice little wrap there that you can wrap up all your cables with. Underneath the keyboard, we got our beautiful wrist guard. And I'll tell you what, guys. Very clean. Got nice cushion to it, and Razer added their nice, beautiful logo right there. I'll come up a little bit so you guys can see it better. Take a look at that. And it's magnetic to the front of the keyboard, so it just snaps right on. All right, guys, we'll plug this in and we can take a further look at it so you guys can get a full rundown of what the keyboard looks like all lit up. Uh, it is an RGB keyboard, so you guys will love this. Trust me. All right, let's go take a look. So, everybody, after unboxing your Ornata V2, getting it plugged in, updated, and ready to go, you're going to want to open up your Razer Synapse app Go over to the Ornata, just click on it once, and you are in. So right off the bat, it gives you a layout of your keyboard, and you can go in and change and customize any of the keys and change over all of this stuff if you would like. It also has an option for hypershift shortcuts. So you can turn hypershift on or off if you'd like. You can put on gaming mode and you can disable it just by hitting the Windows key. You can open up the Windows Keyboard Property app and change all of this stuff. For repeat delay, repeat rate, cursor button, uh, cursor blink rate, excuse me. Now what we're going to want to look at next is the lighting. So guys, you can change the brightness. You can turn it off if you would like. You can set it to display is turned off. The lighting will turn off as well or when idle for minutes. And now your effects, you can do quick effects. Like I have fire set up here. Where they give you a few different options like ambient awareness, audio, meter, breathing, fire, reactive, ripple, spectrum cycling, starlight, static, wave, and wheel. They have some advanced features here where you would have to install the Chroma Studio module. But I'll let you explore that on your own. But if you guys want to see what the fire looks like. Let's take a look at it real quick. Look at that. We'll go down in the list for you guys. Here's ambient. 
So just a solid light. And now you can have it change to the regions too for this. But here's audio meter. So let's go to breathing. And you can set multiple colors up for breathing, or you can do random coloring too. This one is fire. This is what we had on earlier. And personally, this is my favorite. I really like this one. Here's reactive. Oh, look at that. So whenever you press a button, it reacts to your button presses. That's cool. I like that. Here's ripple effect. So I would assume, oh, look, check that out. That looks really cool. I like that. Okay, let's take a look at spectrum lighting. Here is starlight. So just popping up on random parts of the keyboard. Not my favorite, but again, you can change this to random coloring too, guys, so that it will do different effects like that. Again, you guys can make this keyboard your own. There's so many different options. Uh, here's static, so it'd just be one static color. Here's wave, so it just goes you know, from left to right. And you can change the direction to the other direction from right to left. And here's the final option of wheel. So just spins around the keyboard. And again, if you would like, you can change the direction on that if you really want to. Again, guys, Razer just always going over the top with all their products, doing amazing stuff. If you guys are in the market for a new keyboard, I would highly recommend the Razer Ornata V2. Um, I can't wait to start using it. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and real easy to use. And gotta say, guys, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous keyboard. Wow. Um, I'm, I, I'm a little stumped for words, but hey, you guys be the judge. Let me know how you feel about it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave anything in the comments, and I will put a link in the description if you would like to pick up your very own Razer Ornata V2 mechanical keyboard. Have a good one, guys. See you soon.